diesel vehicles being put to the test. Municipalities and their vehicle fleets are facing huge challenges, but there are also alternative drive options. A novelty at this year's EFAT trade fair, small municipal vehicles with propulsion and sweeping units that work entirely electrically. And converting the municipal vehicle fleets completely to e-mobility is just one option here. Denn aus Braunkohle erzeugter Strom mit Batterien, Because electricity generated from lignite, with batteries that need 70% of the life cycle energy even to be produced, is still not the solution. Going to hydrogen fuel cells here is good, but only if that hydrogen does not come from cracked natural gas, but from a renewable product. For instance, from solar energy, that produce that hydrogen from water. In other words, we're converting the propulsion technologies of the energy supply for these engines, which drive our municipal vehicles. Ensuring the air stays clean in a sustainable way is therefore a top priority for the municipalities as well as for the EFAT exhibitors. There won't be the drive of the future, it'll be demand-oriented, and for every industry and every application there'll be a special solution. So electricity should be primarily used in city traffic, while the gas version can be used more for long-distance traffic and will of course retain an efficient, clean diesel for numerous applications. Diesel certainly has a future too. After all, Euro 6 means that the issue of nitrogen oxides and particulates is resolved. However, the CO2 question has not been, and the municipalities are increasingly concerned about how they can contribute to climate protection. And in that regard, diesel is currently leading to a dead end. We need alternative CO2-neutral forms of mobility, and biogas can be a wonderful solution there. Pollution from methane gas-driven trucks and municipal vehicles is demonstrably lower, and engine volumes have also been reduced by half. We're assuming that the biomethane sector will be the most useful application variant in mass operation over the next 20 to 30 years at a time when we want to replace diesel vehicles cheaply or cost-neutrally. EFAT is relying on clean and alternative drives and inspiring smart solutions in waste management and energy technology. Drive into our nation's capital. Bio-waste collection there is connected to a fermentation plant. The biogas produced is fed into the grid and the refuse collection vehicles are fueled with biogas. This is lived sustainability and is being taken into account in all complex issues of waste management and street cleaning.